relative of ours is having a baby and I wanted to do a little welcome, congratulations gift for the baby and also for the older sibling because I don't want him to feel left out. So I thought I would bring you along with me. Let's go shopping. So I just pulled up to a local gardening store that I absolutely love. They have everything. I'm always looking for an excuse to come here because they have so many things. They have so many blue gardeny things I love, but they also have a lot of home decor, kitchen items, um, there's a dog and pet section. There are even designer dresses and pajamas and hats. So you cannot go wrong at this store. But recently I did see some really cute, kind of unique, super soft, plush little stuffed animals. They are hard to get because they go pretty fast. But I'm gonna go in and see what they have. I thought it might be a cute addition to the little gift boxes I'm doing. So let's go see what they have. And who knows, maybe there will be something else in there that I need. There usually are a few things that I need in there. Let's go check it out. Not to be too cliche, but can you beat the lion and the lamb? Okay, what do you think? Anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with blue stuff. Look at all this blue stuff. Oh, these totes. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to get that. I think it's even cute for like a beach bag, pool bag, super cute. My husband always wonders why I have so many kitchen towels. Why so many kitchen towels? It's like the wardrobe, the clothing for the kitchen. I mean, it's kind of like too many pillows on a bed or sofa. You just have to accept it. Look at all this America stuff. I'm gonna go crazy. Fourth of July is probably my second favorite holiday. Look at all this stuff. So, so cute. Happy Fourth of July. Party like a patriot legs. I need these. And it's another cute tea towel. Also it would be really cute with a 4th of July tea towel. I love that. They even have chocolates in a blue box. How pretty is that? What a great hostess gift. This is actually where I got my pots I use in my kitchen. Right now I have an orchid in that one and I think I have some utensils in that one. It's so pretty. No joke you guys. Look what dress I was drawn to. Look at the brand. I just posted about this brand because I had bought a dress I love by them. I just love their style. So cute. Soft pajamas. I could live here. A friend gave us a big bowl like this and two littler like dip bowls when we got married. They're so cute. Hats always come down and cover my eyeballs and I just found this hat on a mannequin and it says petite definitely need this hat. It matches my sandals and will go follow my sundresses and it fits my head. Yay! Oh, Ferris definitely needs this. It's a huge, long, knotted toy to chew on. We take our Bernadoodle on a lot of walks and I'm always saying we need to get one of those thermoses that has a bowl attached. We just found it. Our hydrangeas have lost some color, especially one in one box. So I'm going to pick up some hydrangea food. I think this is the coolest stuff. I love a pretty package. Look at all these beautiful wrapping papers. Obviously, I'm gonna love this one. I did my Christmas wrap in that this year. But this is so pretty too. Oh my goodness, how would you pick? Of course, this combo, super cute. This one's really cute. Have I mentioned that I love this store? One more stop, I'm going to our local bookstore. It's independently owned. It's charming and quaint, and it has such wonderful books. I'm gonna see if I can find a couple little children books to add to the boxes. Let's go see. I have to admit one thing I really like about this independent bookstore, well, I love supporting something local, but I also like that they gift wrap. A couple baby books, and the baby paper is so cute. Isn't that adorable? And then I actually found something for a friend and a little Father's Day gift. Getting ahead of the curve. Now I have everything I need to put the baskets together. I think I'm gonna go back and reassess, but I think we're pretty good. Let's go home. I'm back home and I had to laugh. I guess I like blue and I guess I like blue floral. <laughs> pretty predictable. I didn't even think about it, but I popped it down on my table and kind of cracked up. But anyway, let's see what I found today. Okay. So here is what I ended up with. A little something for me, a new hat. What else do we have? 
Oh, something for the dog. <laughs> Did you hear your name? And then I've got some hydrangea food, and I'll show you in a little bit why I need that and what it does. We'll kind of follow along the process of healing the blue. And the cute lion and lamb. So we have a lamb, little lammy for the girl, the baby, and a lion roller for the big brother to be. Just so cute. And I don't know if you saw, but it's just got the cutest tail. Another something for the doggy. He's right here. He knows. This is for his walk so he can have some water. And then I got um, this, which is so cute for the 4th of July. And when I was at the bookstore, I found another one. I couldn't resist. I think together they're going to be darling on my stove over July. So I already had this blue towel right here from Loom Sonoma. And then I'm just putting them next to them so I can do either this combination or I can do this combination, or I can do all three, or I can pop one on the other oven. Sadie approves. <laughs> you guys approve? So I thought that was really cute, and what a fun way to decorate for the fourth. The other things I had already found and had at home were this big brother, little sister duo. I think they're so cute. And then I thought this was just the sweetest. It's super big brother, so it's teaching him how to be a big brother, how important he is. And then this little guy, um, who actually, very similar coloring to the little boy. It looks like a miniature version of him. And look at that. It says, Super Big Brother. And it comes with his own cape. I haven't opened it yet. I haven't opened it yet, but isn't that cute? And it couldn't look more like him. So I think that's really fun. It's going to be a really cute package. Now I just have to find something to put it in. Well, I thought I was going to finish the project in one day, but... Last minute, we decided to go on a dinner date. So anytime you say sushi and dining outside, I'm in. Besides, I was really craving their fish and chips. They are so good. Look at those chunks of fish and malt vinegar. Oh, anyway, we split a little dessert, sat outside, and everywhere you look, it's just beautiful right now. Flowers, flowers, flowers. It was definitely worth putting my project off till the next morning. So I did a quick target run just to get the last few things I needed for this project. I found these baskets recently and I love them. They are $10 each, which is, I think, a great price. I've been using them in my closet, one for belts, one for scarves. I thought I'd get another one for like baseball caps and odds and ends. It helps me keep my shelves in my closet a little more organized. But I thought they'd be really cute for this project. So I'm gonna use this instead of a typical box or gift bag. I think it's great because later the parents can use this to you know, corral diapers, toys, books, whatever. And I just think it's great to get something that's reusable. And at $10, honestly, you can spend that much in gift bags and tissue paper and all that. I got a couple more things to round out the baby gift. So I went with a little bit of a unicorn theme. And here's the matching little unicorn. I thought that was a really cute little blanket toy. I thought that this was just a cute little bathrobe. I think every girl needs her bathrobe, and it's a little newborn bathrobe. Isn't that sweet? So this is what I have for the little baby girl. We've got the book from the local bookstore that's so cute, and it has little sheep in it, which coordinate with a little sheep stuffed animal. And then we have a little unicorn bath towel and little blankie toy, and then two onesies, little sister and families that grow together, and then a bathrobe. And for the big brother, the new big brother-to-be, we've got big brother book, how to become a big brother. We have a big brother doll, super big brother. And on the back, he's wearing a cape that says super big brother. And so he gets his own cape to wear that says super big brother. I'll use that kind of in place of tissue in the basket. And then big brother shirt, a darling book from a local bookstore, and then his lion, which you couldn't resist. It's the softest stuffed animal. Okay, I'm back home and I have everything laid out that I have to work with as far as the gifts and the baskets. So instead of a box, I'm going to use these baskets. I just think that they're really cute and reusable. I think they come in handy, especially with kids and toys and all the things you have to store. And then I just think it's a softer, prettier packaging. I love baskets. And then I have the girl items here for the newborn baby. And then I have the big brother items right here. So I'm going to take a basket. And then I'm going to start. So the first thing I'm going to do is for the boy, instead of a blanket, he has this really cute cape. And it says, Super Big Brother. So I'm going to start with this. I think this will be my cute little tissue. 
that would be in lieu of my tissue. So I'm going to put this in here, and I'm just going to drape it through a little bit and anchor it through some handles so it stays, and then that's going to be the base of the basket. So in there, I have a couple things. I have this really cute big brother little doll to go in there, and I think that he should stand up kind of in the corner. So I'm going to tuck him back here. It's just kind of trial and error as far as the size of everything. And then I have a coloring book. So the coloring book is going to go behind him, and that should help hold him up a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to drape his cute little cape over the back. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I have a Big Brother t-shirt. So I think for this, I want it to show that he's a Big Brother. He's going to be a big, proud Big Brother. So I'm just going to roll it like such and place it in there. Okay. And then I'm going to pop in a cute little lion. I just think he's a doll. And I might tuck his tail through the edge just because I think it's such a cute part of him. <laughs> he's cute. And then I have the book. So I can anchor the lion up a little bit with the book. Okay, so that's the little boy gift. Let me see if we can get the lion. I don't think his tail is going to work. But you can wrap around the back and he can be peeking out the front. I think that's really cute. So you have that cute little gift box and again we have the t-shirt, the book, the doll, and the stuffed animal and the coloring book, which is really fun. It's an activity book that teaches him his important job. It's coming up. Okay, and then let's move on to the girl gift. So for this, I am going to start stuffing away. I did buy more of a towel. I was looking at some of the blankets and I just didn't see one that was great for this. Um, and I thought, well, I thought a towel and a robe would be really cute, kind of a bath theme. So we're gonna take this cute little unicorn and I'm just gonna undo the stitching here. And then I'm gonna use this instead of tissue paper like I did the cape. So I'm just going to kind of line the basket and I'm going to make this pop up a little bit. So I'm just going to put this to the handle and just super cute. I think since that has a tag I'm going to layer it like that. And then we have the cute unicorn little head. Oh, I have one more little tag. Alright, I thought I got them all but I guess I didn't. Alright, so we have a uni little unicorn head. <laughs> All right, so we have the little unicorn towel. And then I have this adorable bathrobe. Isn't that so cute? Every girl needs her little bathrobe. I'm big into little bathrobes. Okay, so that's so cute. So I'm just gonna tuck this in here. I actually think the knot is kind of cute. It's kind of like a little bow, so I'm gonna feature the knot. Okay, and then I'm gonna put in the darling lamb. This is the biggest thing, so I'm gonna snuggle that in the corner just kind of adjust that a little bit. Oh, it's so cute. It's almost like you could put the little <laughs> hat on the lamb. So cute, so cute. And then I have this little guy, and I think I'm just gonna sit this on top. Yeah, I'm gonna actually move this outfit back a little bit, put that one in front of it. And then I have this cute book, with the pink little bow. So I'm gonna make the lamb holding the book. And I have one other little shirt that talks about, that says family grows together. All right, so I want to feature this part. I want to feature the cute part, so I'm going to tuck it and roll it in one more time and tuck it in here. And so you'll see when you look at the gift, family grows together, and it's all for the newborn little baby girl. So cute. The little lammy is holding a book to read. So it's kind of a nighttime theme. It's kind of bath, book, cuddle up with your little friends, and should be just a perfect little newborn gift. So I have all this ready, and um, I think I'm going to grab some tissue and fluff this up a little bit so that when it's fluffed up, it kind of sits up a little bit and you can see the little bit of a unicorn head. I think that'd be really cute. I might also stick a little tissue under him to bump him up a little bit since he's thinking a little bit, just a little bit maybe to lift the lion up as well. I like to show something cute on top. So I think that this unicorn head fluffed up will be cute and the lion perched and looking over will be cute. I'll be right back. Let me grab some tissue. Okay, so I have some yellow tissue paper sitting around, which is actually really cute. It plays off of the lion 
and the super big brother cape on the doll. So I'm gonna use that for the boy basket and then nothing beats pink hearts. So this will pop up under the girls basket and then I'll use this for the girls basket. And I'm just going for volume. I want it to look like a real little unicorn head. So you have the lamb friend and you have a little unicorn friend and then you have the other unicorn friend. So lots of little friendly faces. And with the lion, I just think he needs to be perched up and looking over the edge. I think it's so cute. So let's give him a couple bumps up. I have a lot of paper, so let's just use it up. I think it, the super boy should be lifted up a little bit also. So it gives him a little bench. And then he's a super big brother. Let's have him holding his little proud sign. I'll pop his, I'll put the big brother under his arms like he's super proud, because he is. And put this behind his cape. I want his cape to fly a little bit, to be a little magical. So I'm gonna just show you right here. I'm gonna put some tissue behind him and it matches the cape, coincidentally. And then I'm gonna make his cape like it's flying in the air. All right, so it's kind of cute. It looks like he's in motion, as a lot of little boys are. And then I think I need one more under the Big Brother shirt. Kind of round it out a little bit. And I'm gonna put his arms around it big brother and then I have this book and I'm gonna put the lion perched up I'm gonna put his tail through the edge I'm gonna try it one more time because I just think it's really cute to have his tail now push this aside his tail through the edge and then he's gonna be just sitting looking out and we're gonna have a book and I actually don't want to cover up the big brother sign I think I'm gonna pop the book back here just do a double layer book section and let me give him a little lift also. The book is so heavy, it wants to stick to the bottom, and I really want that presentation of everything at the top of the basket. So I'm gonna give him a little bump down here, a little elevation, and put this book in. What do you think? I think it's cute, and I think that it's I think it's so fun to do individual baskets for whatever you're doing, if it's a bride-to-be, if it's a friend, but especially kids. Kids are so fun, and I think that a theme basket or, you know, this is definitely a theme basket with the big brother, the little baby girl. It's kind of a theme, kind of bath, bedtime, cozy. I think I mentioned this at the bookstore, but the book I got for the little girl has a lamb in it, so it ties in the lamb. And unicorn is kind of a theme, it's kind of a lamb unicorn theme, but I also kind of like the lion and the lamb. So I think it's really cute. I hope they both feel special. Of course, the little girl won't know much about it, but her mom and dad should feel special and that this baby is so welcomed into our family and we're so excited. And again, this looks like the little big brother, so it's kind of fun. So I hope you have somebody special in your life to make a basket for. There is always an opportunity to give a gift to somebody and to be creative. So I didn't have an agenda and a plan before I set out for a specific thing. I did have a little bit of an idea because I had found this guy and his cape online. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And I know that when he was at our house recently, he talked about wearing a cape. I think he'll get it and he does look like this little guy. So if you found this useful, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, How to Live Life Beautifully, and follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And I would love to see any basket you create. This is such a fun thing to do. It's so fun to give. So enjoy and have a great week, everybody.